Good evening. What an amazing funeral. What a very moving day it's been as we've said goodbye to one of our own in a military setting and to a man who has given so much to this nation. So let us come before the Lord and worship a God who has given us everything. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 66 Shout for, to God for joy, everyone on earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Give him glorious praise. Say to God what wonderful things you do. Your power is so great that your enemies bow down to you in fear. Everyone on earth bows down to you. They sing praises to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done. See what wonderful things he has done for the people. He turned the Red Sea into dry land. The people of Israel passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us be full of joy because of what he did. He rules by his power forever. His eyes watch the nations. Let no one who refuses to obey him rise up against him. Praise our God, all you nations. Let the sound of your praise to him. Let the sound of the praise you give him be heard. He has kept us alive. He has kept our feet from slipping. God, you have tested us. You put us through the fire to make us like silver. You put us in prison. You placed heavy loads on our backs. You let our enemies ride their chariots over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us to a place where we have everything we need. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings. I will keep my promises to you. I made them with my lips. My mouth spoke them when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you as burnt offerings. I will offer rams, bulls and goats to you. Come and hear, all you who have respect for God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. I praised him with my tongue. If I had enjoyed having sin in my heart, the, lo the Lord would not have listened. But God surely listened. He has heard my prayer. Give praise to God. He has accepted my prayer. He has not held back his love from me. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Exodus 18, verses 13 to 27. The next day Moses took his seat to serve the people as their judge. They stood around him from morning until evening. His father-in-law saw everything Moses was doing for the people. So he said, aren't you trying to do too much for these people? You're the only judge 
and all these people are standing around you from morning until evening. Moses answered, the people come to me to find out what God wants them to do. Any time they don't agree with one another, they come to me. I decide between them. I tell them about God's rules and his instructions. Moses' father-in-law replied, what you're doing isn't good. You'll just get worn out. And so will these people who come to you. There's too much work for you. You can't possibly handle it by yourself. Listen to me, I'll give you some advice and may God be with you. You must speak to God for the people. Take their problems to him, teach them his rules and instructions. Show them how to live and what to do. But choose men of ability from all the people. They must have respect for God. You must be able to trust them. They must not try to get money by cheating others. Appoint them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties and tens. Let them serve the people as judges, but have them bring every hard case to you. They can decide the easy ones for themselves. That will make your load lighter. They will share it with you. If this is what God wants and if you do it, then you'll be able to carry the load and all these people will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law. He did everything Jethro said. He chose men of ability from the whole community of Israel. He made them leaders of the people. They became officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties and tens. They judged the people at all times. They brought the hard cases to Moses, but they decided the easy ones themselves. Moses sent his father along on his way. So Jethro returned to his own country. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. God raised Christ, Christ from, from the, the dead, dead, the, the lamb, lamb without, without spot, spot or stain. stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for our salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You were ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb, without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Colossians 4, verse 2 to verse 18. Give a lot of time and effort to prayer. Always be watchful and thankful. Pray for us too. Pray that God will give us an opportunity to spread our message. Then we can preach the mystery of Christ. Because I preached it, I'm being held in chains. Pray that I will preach it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let the words you speak always be full of grace. Learn how to make your words what people want to hear then you will know how to answer everyone. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He's a dear brother. He's a faithful worker. He serves the Lord together with us. I'm sending him to you for one reason. I want you to know what is happening here. I want him to be an encouragement to you and make your heart strong. He's coming with Onesimus, our faithful and dear brother. He is one of you. They will tell you everything that is happening here. Aristarchus is in prison with me. He sends you his greeting. So does Mark, the cousin of Barnabas. You have been given directions about him. If he comes to you, welcome him. 
Jesus, who is called Justus, also sends greetings. They are the only Jews who have worked together with me for God's kingdom. They have been a comfort to me. Epaphras sends greetings. He's one of you. He serves Jesus Christ. He's always praying hard for you. He prays that you will hold on tightly to all that God has in mind for us. He prays that you will keep growing in your knowledge of what God wants. He also prays that you will be completely sure about it. I'm happy to tell you that he is working very hard for you. He's also working hard for everyone in Laodicea and Hierapolis. So, dear friend Luke, the doctor, sends greetings, so does Demas. Give my greetings to the brothers and sisters in Laodicea. Also give my greeting to Nymphia and the church that meets in her house. After this letter has been read to you, send it on. Be sure that it is also read to the church in Laodicea. Be sure that you read the letter from Laodicea. Tell Archippus, be sure that you complete the work the Lord gave you. I pulled and writing this greeting with my own hand. Remember that I am being held in chains. May grace be with you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my strength, strength and my song. He, he has, has become, become my salvation. salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He, he has, has become, become my, my salvation. salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my strength and my song. He, he has, has become, become my salvation. salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so, Lord, on the day that Prince Philip is laid to rest in a service of dignity, of Christian hope, service and commitment. Lord, we pray now for his repose and we pray for the Queen and all those who were at the service, for those who now will still be at Windsor Castle as family, sharing stories and memories and paying their respects by being family. Father God, we thank you for families, places of fun and fights, places where divisions and problems come. But Lord, the sight of seeing two grandsons walking side by side at the end of that funeral, all the Newspapers and their politicising and their stirring of things fell to nothing as those two men, those two brothers, walked together. Father, we pray that we all, in times of division, may find the grace and the courage to break 
the things that separate and to build relationships and bonds. And Father, we thank you that we are called to be yours by name. Help us always to live to your strength, grace and mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, as we turn our thoughts to prayers of peace, we pray for our world as mm. the global COVID deaths pass 3 million. Lord, we pray for a consistent and coordinated effort across the world to vaccinate and to bring this virus under control yes. that the wealthier nations would not simply look after themselves and forget their less wealthy neighbours mm. but Lord that we would have a global vision a global sense of responsibility yes, Lord. Father we pray for building tensions between the Ukraine and Russia we pray for tensions in other parts of the world between China and America and China and Taiwan. We pray for the ongoing protests and arrests in Hong Kong. Father, that you would be with those who are standing for freedom and democracy. Yes. Lord, we pray for the situation in Myanmar, which has gone out of our news at the moment. But that doesn't mean that people are not still dying. Mm. Lord, we pray for peace in our world. Yes. We pray for peace in our communities. We pray for an end to the violence on our streets. We pray that people will be able to walk around the streets without threat of violence, without threat of knife crime or being attacked. We pray for the family of the young boy in hospital after being attacked in Wilnicott. Mm. Lord, we pray that all those whose hearts are set on violence yes. would be turned around would be changed and if they will not be changed Lord then remove them from our streets mm. Father we ask for safety we ask for peace yes. and we ask for that safety and that peace that can only be found in you even when the world around us is going mad and when circumstances are fraught with difficulty and danger, we can still find peace. We can still find safety. Mm. Because you hold us in your hands. And our future is secure with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray for our loved ones this evening. We pray for all those we know who have needs. And on a day where the COVID deaths pass the three million mark, Lord, we pray for those who work in the health service this night, for those who work in care homes, those who are working as vaccinators. Lord, for all those who are working on the front line as we now perceive it to be, we 
pray for them and their safety for our family members who may be in hospital or have been in hospital this week we pray for those we know and love and we pray for Maureen Williams and for Kevin and Patsy and Lizzie and so many we know who have been beset by cancer we pray for the families of those with cancer who pray and watch and wait we pray for those we know with mental mental and medical health issues this night we pray for those who are struggling with work or jobs having ended and money not being available and the stresses of just keeping their families fed Lord as the day ends and evening comes and the sun sets we thank you for those for whom life is at the sunset stage we pray for them we pray for their health and we pray for ourselves that you would be God in their lives and ours in all that that means and we would be your faithful people Lord in your mercy hear, hear our, our prayer risen Christ for whom no door is locked, no entrance barred. Open the doors of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace. To the praise of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Oh, let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Yes, alleluia. I'm having one of those alleluia. evenings. Alleluia, alleluia indeed. I'm definitely having one of those senior moments this evening. Guys, stay safe, be blessed, and just hope I can stay awake till 10. Bye.